pop this saw in and I just put some blocks in the side of it to hold it in place so that it's centered up. This is exactly where it's going to live. I wanted to make sure that this lip stuck out so that for right now I can still utilize the, uh, the fence. The next step is going to be to, uh, we're going to mount the motor somewhere in this area over here. Here's the belt goes to the motor, probably going to have it somewhere in this general area, so that's what we're doing next. I'm going to start framing all that out, and then once once I get that all framed out, then we'll have a better idea of how the rest of this is going to, is going to kind of play out, so. So the belt comes across from the saw right here. It needs to go over to the motor over here. Now, we have to remember that gravity, because it's upside down, gravity will be working in this direction. I want the weight of the motor to be pulling down this way so that I keep my belt tight. So this seems to be about where we're going to keep this motor. I want this to be holding just a bit of an angle, not too much, something like that. So it seems about right. We're going to do just vertical supports on the inside of here somewhere. Okay, so because I have a inoperable saw underneath this dresser and a, a found saw um, that is not assembled. I do not have time to put it together right now. So we're gonna pull out the trusty pull saw.
already noticed, I don't really care so much about looks on this project. I care about it being functional. The object of this is not fine craftsmanship or anything like that. I mean, so far, I mean, this thing is sturdy as hell. It's heavy. Really, really heavy. With the motor and with the saw at the same time, it is, it's a beast. Uh, definitely gonna end up putting wheels on it. There's no way we're not going to. So, yeah, motor's mounted.